Hello everyone, this is Dr. May and I'm going to lead you through a series of uh, screencasts to kind of give you an idea of what you need to know by now uh, as far as how to uh, write a web page, basic web pages, and that the coding that goes into building a web page is exactly the same kind of coding that you need to do in order to build an electronic book. And so, uh, but let's start at the very beginning and review some of the things that we have lear learned so far. So the first thing that we need to do is simply build a web page, one single web page. And we're going to do that very simply. I'm going to open up TextEdit because this is one of the uh, programs that I like to use to, to design, to build, to start building a web page anyway. Uh, and when you're in TextEdit, one of the things you want to do is make sure that it saves everything as plain text. So go to the TextEdit and preferences uh, and in the in the window you'll want to make sure if you're on a Mac make sure that it's marked as plain text in the new document uh, tab and in the open and save tab make sure that you have ignore rich text commands and HTML files checked and that should be all that you need at this point so let's get out of that and now we're going to build a simple Hello World web page. And every single web page that you create needs to have a doc type declaration. And that's it. The doc type declaration just needs to be doc type HTML and make sure that you also add the exclamation point right there. The next tag that you need to put in is your HTML tag, both an opening and a closing tag. And I like to tab down a few spaces and go ahead and add the closing tag for HTML. All HTML documents, of course, will have as the root, as the root tag, HTML. Now the doc type declaration is not a root uh, tab. Uh, tag, it is simply the document type declaration. This tells your browser which version of HTML you're using. It's going to make a difference later on down the line. But just for the time being, we're just going to use the HTML, HTML5 document type declaration. After that, HTML, and then the next tag that we're going to do are, are your opening and closing tags for uh, the head. Notice I give it an opening tag and a closing tag. And the uh, head of your document is going to contain things like your title. And you can give the title, you can make the title anything you want. And essentially you want to give your document a title because again, this will come up later on down the line when you're building more sophisticated uh, web pages and also when you start uh, creating your ebook. You want to have a title in the head. This isn't going to show up in the web page because it's in the head section of your document. Uh, but it will show up in the tab and uh, in the, uh, the uh, progress bar of your uh, browser. So the title is Hello World page. Okay. Now there's other information that can go in the head. Uh, for instance, if you're going to link to a style sheet, that's going to go in your head uh, section of your, your document. And I'll, I'll leave that for uh, another lesson though. But for right now, in, so far what you need to have is your doctype declaration, your HTML tag to tell the browser that you are in fact using HTML and not some other web language. The next are your opening and closing head tags, and inside your head tags give yourself a title. Okay, once you have your title, scroll down. And uh, the next thing you're going to put in is the body tag. Give yourself an opening body tag and a closing body tag uh, near the HTML, your closing HTML tag. They usually are right next to each other. So go ahead and make sure that you do that. And in the body, in the body, we are going to type 
the text, the actual text that's going to go into your web page, and we're simply going to type hello world. Okay, let's save this. And you're going to get the, uh, in, in the save as, at least in text edit, or any text editor that you use, in the save as box, make sure that you give your uh, web page a name. And at, at this stage, you can give it any name uh, until you start building a website that has multiple pages. When you're just building one page, give your one page whatever name you want to. It's a good idea to make sure that you give uh, that you give the name as just lowercase letters. If you're going to give uh, if you're going to make a title that has more than one word, you have to make sure there are no spaces. So if you wanted to make this hello world .html, you need to put an underscore here. Put an underscore here so that you don't have a separation between words. Otherwise, your web page is not going to work. So again, give yourself, uh, give your document a name. We're going to give it the hello world.html page. And then let's save it to the desktop. Make sure it's in Unicode UTF-8. And save it. OK. And right there, we're going to see, let's go to your web page. We're going to open it up in, let's open it up in Firefox. And boom, now you have a web page. It's not very interesting, sure, but you have a web page. Notice that the code that you used up here in the title section, which is enclosed in the head, is showing up here in your tab. And also notice that the hello world is in the body, and it's just showing up over here in the top left-hand corner of your browser. That's your first web page. Now, we're going to talk about formatting your web page using um, CSS, formatting the, uh, the actual text here. Uh, using CSS, and we're going to use CSS uh, embedded. I'm going to show you CSS embedded as well as CSS in an external style sheet in the next lesson. But as for now, when you walk into class, you should know how to get this far just off the top of your head in building a web page. Okay? And let's just clean this up a little bit so that when people come and look at your web page, they have a better idea of how to read your document. Uh, let's see. And that's all that I have for you for now. I'll see you in the next lesson.